If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm Lindsay and this is Let's Budget. On this channel we do things like savings challenges, cash stuff things, and most things budgeting. Um, so today what we're going to do is going to be stuffing our August paycheck number one cash stuffings. So if you like videos like that, please keep watching. <clears throat> Okay, friends, it has been a while since I have done a savings challenge stuffing. Why? Because in the month of July, in the month of July, I took a break. I didn't post anything. And before that, in the month of June, like the last paycheck of June, I didn't have any money left over to put into my savings challenges. So, let's talk about them. So... We had a back to school savings challenge that we are not going to complete this year, but we will be starting it over. We're not going to complete it because my kids, go, my boys go back to school in about a week. But good news, <clears throat> we saved about, I want to say $275 um, with that. Well, let me see. Let me, let me see how much money we saved, y'all. Let me see how much we have left and I'll tell you. So we have... 170 left and we only spent $70 so that's what $240 okay so we saved about $240 for the boys and we got lucky why with that I spent $70 on uniform shirts because the boys do wear uniforms so I spent $70 on the uniform shirts um, my husband bought their tennis shoes so that didn't come out of my savings challenge and grandparents, y'all, I am so grateful for grandparents. Why? Because those grandparents of ours went ahead and bought underwear. So they bought undershirts, um, underwear, and socks. So I don't have to worry about that. I do have to get pants and school supplies. So I'm going to use that 170 to do pants and school supplies. And I may have to add something to it. And that's fine, but a lot of the stuff, some of the big ticket stuff we didn't have to get. So we got uniform shirts, backpacks, um, and then everything else was gifted to us besides the pants that we'll get for the kids. Okay. The other one that I'm not going to be doing <clears throat> is vacation savings. So guys, we are done vacationing for the year. So we're not going to be stuffing anything in our vacation savings. As we can see, we did not hit the $3,000. However, I will be um, in my head. I'm going to start a debt payoff video um, to pay off the credit card that we paid for the vacation with. Um, and then that way, we'll be working on that too. Okay. Now, we do still have the birthday savings. The birthday is not until November. Um, I have just about everything for like table decorations, goodie bags. I do have to reserve the place. Um, my concern with reserving the place is that he's only turning five and they have different packages. Well, I don't want to get a good package and then he's not able to like ride all the rides or do all the activities that are there for him so I have to take him up there to see like how tall he is which package works best first they had our, our bang for our books so um this is a $300 challenge uh, however I already know that this birthday may cost us a little bit more than $300 so I'm going to shoot for $500 to be saved for this challenge um for birthday we have already 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. So we have 95 dollars, but we've also spent 50 dollars. 50. We bought some things. I know one thing was like 30 bucks, and one was 25. So we spent about 55 dollars on birthday already, but we're still chucking away at birthday because it's not until November. Um, let's get a pen. We are going to stuff $30 into birthday. I'm just excited that everything has been coming together, friends. Um, by the way, I'm only stuffing $60. Like, I budgeted $60 for savings challenges. 
um, because when I did my budget, I had like $166 left. So I budgeted $60 for savings challenges, which would leave me a buffer of $100. Now, I didn't say that in my... Um, <clears throat> I didn't say that in my video because I hadn't realized at that time that I had money that I could still use. I hadn't noticed it. I was like, ooh, 166 that's not a whole lot. So I decided to put $60 towards savings. The next one we have <clears throat> is Christmas. Christmas is actually coming along well. It, sh it really should be a low priority, but uh, we are working away at it. Christmas. This one is a $1,300 savings, and we have like $300 in Christmas. I'll, I'll count it in a minute. Um, so, yeah, Christmas has actually been coming along well, and our Christmas savings goes until Black Friday. So, I save money for Christmas up until Black Friday, um, un unless I need be. I think that's what I want to say. Um <clears throat> So we have $30 for Christmas. Let's see how much Christmas has in it. So it has 1, 2, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, uh, Lindsay, 75, 95. So we're at 295 for Christmas. I think that's what's right. 1, 2, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. Yeah. $2.95 for Christmas, which is pretty good. We still have time. It's only August, so we will be getting to Christmas. And then last but not least, oh, I'm sorry. I always do last but not least. Let's do these little coins. These coins are left over from my, um, from my cash stuffing. I think I'm going to go ahead and start rolling my coins so I don't have to do them all at one time. Um... Because that can be cumbersome. Now, last but not least, we do have our 100 envelope challenge, guys. So, what I decided to do in our 100 envelope challenge is to use my $1 and my $5 challenges to stuff this one. Because it doesn't have an end date. So, I know you may see this money over to the side. Y'all, this is how much money I had left over in envelopes in my cash stuffing. It was like... 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 17, 18, 19, 30, 31. I had 31 dollars left over from envelopes that I didn't spend. So that's awesome. So that's 31. Okay. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 46. And 56, 66, what is this? 71. Cool beans. We have $71 to put into our 100 envelope challenge. So, oh yeah, $71. Let's try to do two um, just so that we can look like we made some progress. Oh my... All my little freaking markers look the same, y'all. Okay. <clears throat> do we want to do two or three? So let's do a high number and a lower number. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We have 30 here. And we can do 30, 30, let's do 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Okay, we'll do 45 and we have a 5 here, 1, 2, la, 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 la. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. We still have $26. So let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We'll do the number 9. 
one, two, three. We'll do the number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so let's do the number nine. We're going to do nine for sure, guys. Let's just close that out. Let's just do nine. We'll close that out. And then we'll do, <coughs> let's see what this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 22. So we are going to be doing 9, 22, and 45. That is awesome, guys. I know that is, that seems like a lot to me. I don't know if it seems like a lot to y'all. Okay, so I got my boxes, and we said we are going to be doing nine that's turned upside down the number nine the number 22 and the number 45 okay y'all know i got my little boxes stuff them right quick put them in the other box and we are done so with that, friends, we have literally come to the end of the video. Um, I will be maybe making a couple of changes to some of the things that I do here, but we'll see. Um, I want to thank you all for stopping by and watching today, my good friends. Um, and so... To the next video, until the next video, friends, have a good day.